Perfectionism. You might not realize it, but it's hurting your self-esteem. You've probably been in this situation, picture this. You hunched over your drawing, you've erased so many times that you mistake the eraser for the pencil. Your hand hurts, you're developing a hunchback, and you've almost fused your butt with the chair. The truth is, you don't even realize how much time has passed because you're in a kind of flow state while drawing, but you look at the drawing and just when you think you're done, you can't help but notice tiny errors that need fixing. So you erase and start again, but keep seeing more errors, and time passes, and the drawing is incomplete, and the stress rises. Do you know why I know this? Because I've found myself in this situation thousands of times, and I still find myself in it from time to time, but I've learned to manage the problem, because also, if you work with deadlines, you either deliver or you don't work anymore, I don't know if that's clear. but. I've also come to the conclusion that maybe it's not as big of a problem as you might think. So listen to this. To finish a project, you need to have confidence that at some point you'll be able to say enough. But the fear of failure makes you get lost in the details. You try to take time to make everything perfect, and do you know what that translates to? Procrastination. Even if you're working on the drawing, you can't finish because you're getting lost in trivial details. That's procrastination. Waiting to have all the perfect condition to say enough. Or often to even just start a project, right? So in the end, what happens? All this translates to a lack of productivity. You realize you can't achieve the result you wanted and you think you're not good. But wait a minute, what happened if you didn't have this problem at all? Imagine producing art like a machine. <laughs> well, that, it's weird to say, but imagine being the AI. You just produce and produce and just produce all the time. You would have the opposite problem. You wouldn't have the right amount of self-criticism to decide if your drawing really sucks and in that case how much to improve it. That's why perfectionism is truly a double-edged sword. You need to know how to use it to your advantage. How? Well, it took me a lifetime to understand it, but I'm going to tell you now in a few words. But first, it needs to be very clear to you that to successfully manage perfectionism, you have to shift your focus to progress, not perfection. Because as we know, perfection doesn't exist. We aim for perfection to reach mastery, because it's one of the intrinsic factors that keep us in flow and maintain high motivation. But you have to focus on progress, because true success is in every step forward you take. Like, does your drawing have all the fundamentals in place? Great, that's already a huge success, believe me. Also, you have to learn to let go. Have you seen those Buddhist monks who create those beautiful uh, words called mandalas? Only to destroy them at the end, driving us crazy with simple mortals who watch this spectacle? Well, that represents the impermanence of life. It means you can make things as beautiful as you want, but you'll never have full control over them. In your case, it means you do your nice drawing, but there comes a time when you have to let it go and move on. Personally, I use self-criticism as fuel, not as a source of stress. You have to accept imperfection first and foremost. Reflect well on the fact that many of the crooked lines you see, people won't even notice. Realize that if you work on, uh, on a large scale but then publish on social media in small sites, many details will go unnoticed. So why stress? Also, it's good to set realistic goals based on the time you have available time that's being imposed on you or that you impose on yourself and also based on your skills like if you know you're lacking skills beforehand it's useless to stress finally the most important thing what personally allows me to manage perfectionism and use self-criticism as fuel instead of stress is my inner dialogue the questions you ask yourself allow you to understand how to behave you have to be able to talk to yourself consciously in practice, what you constantly need to do while drawing is to ask yourself, can I fix that mistake? Do I have the skills? If the answer is yes, then go ahead and fix it. If it's no, either go back and learn that skill, 
and actually you should check out my videos on perspective, gesture and anatomy. Or for now, just keep it and move on. Then, do I have enough time to fix this thing? And especially if I don't, will it significantly impact the overall quality of the work? If the answer is yes, well then fix it. If the answer is no, move on, let go. I want to point out that whether the answer is yes or not, you are still moving forward. Do you realize that? And as I said before, true success lies in the progress. And it's your inner dialogue that determines your reality. As I often hear in Alan Watts' podcast, it's important to manage your inner dialogue, staying anchored to the present and thus avoiding the stress caused by the monkey mind's chatter. Well, that's all for now. Let me know in the comments how you handle this problem. Like to help me with the channel and join my Patreon for free if you want to support me. Bye.